Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Cammie and this is Cammie's Closet. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming. I would appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button below and the bell notification so you know when I upload videos. It would really help my channel grow if you subscribe. It only takes a couple of minutes, open up an account with YouTube, and then you can comment and interact and we can talk to each other and, and it's just fun. It's just fun. Um, anyway, um, if you're not new to my channel, thank you for returning. I hope everyone's having a wonderful December so far, the holiday season, everyone's having a happy and healthy, um, whatever you're doing, shopping for gifts, going out to dinner, celebrating birthdays, um, celebrating Hanukkah that is now finished, um, whatever it is, I hope everything is, is going well for you guys. So um, also, just quickly, I always say this, if you're new to my channel, I don't edit, my videos are pretty amateur, I sit in my dining room, and I put some stuff behind me to look, you know, a little festive. And however the video comes out, it goes up. You know, there's really, I mean, unless like I fall off the chair and start, you know, coughing up, God forbid, you know, um, a, a, a boob, <laughs> the video's going up. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you a few things today. First of all, I finally used her. I used her. I used her last night. I went out with friends. Um, not out. I went to a friend's house and we had a great holiday, you know, get together with some work friends, old work friends. We played left, right, center. We did white elephant. Um, we had a really great time, tons of food, dessert, whatever. But I brought her out. It was a nice dry day. First time using her. I have her just about a year. So, you know, I just wanted to show you quickly. Um, what I have in her was my full set my full set of keys in my YSL pouch. Wait, let me just put her down. My zippy wallet. The game, the dice for left, right, center. If you're not familiar with this, check it out. It's a really fun game, gambling. I have my mini readers in the back and I had my Chanel lip balm. And I had the envelope <laughs> with all the money I won last night. I think I was the big winner. It looks like a lot. It looks like a lot, but it's all singles. Um, but no, I think I won somewhere about... Uh, we started with like $24. And I say 24 because you play three singles a game. And then we doubled up a little bit. So I might have won about 40 bucks, Something like that. Really cool. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And um, if you don't know that game, Left, Right, Center, check it out. It's a great game when you're with people, you know, having a good time. You like to gamble a little bit. It's fun. Anyway, moving on. Jewelry of the day. I got my diamond studs on. I forgot to put a necklace on, but that's okay. I have my uh, tennis bracelet, my uh, diamond band, my wedding set, I have this Movado watch, which I absolutely love. I have it quite a few years, maybe about four years. I'm not sure. I love this. It has diamonds around the face. I love this watch. Um, anyway, so I wanted to show you what I bought recently um, from autumnbeckman.com. I don't know if you follow Autumn Beckman's channel, and I will link it down below, but she has a channel for a long time. She's as far as I'm concerned, she's very successful with her channel, and she just launched a product that she is selling. And I'm sure some of you, let me get it over here, some of you may have already seen it and may have already purchased it. So um, before anything, I'm a pretty organized person. So, you know, I like to know everything I have. I need to know the order of things I need, you know, we sell bags, we buy bags, we, we have essays, we, we, we do. There's a lot involved in handbag collecting. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but if you want it to be, you, it could be a very structured, organized type of thing. So let me show you what I have hanging in my closet. It's Cammie's closet. This, this is a list of every bag I own. I haven't had a chance to update it on the computer, so I was handwriting, as you see, handwriting new additions and crossing off where I've sold. Um, I have a section for the bottom here for accessories. 
and I have um, micro bags. I didn't type those up yet, but these are the micro bags that I have. So, you know, I really, I, I want to be organized. I want to know what I have. I definitely want to know what I sell because I want to keep track of how much money I'm losing um, just in case, you know, we use Venmo, we use PayPal. The government sees everything. Yeah, they do. They see everything. And now, I don't know if it's changing, but now you have to let the government know, the IRS know, if you make $600 or more. Yeah, $600. <laughs> it used to be like 20000 Now Big Brother wants to let, wants to know if you're making 600 But if I'm not mistaken, I think it's changing back because it was absolutely, it's absolutely ridiculous. $600. I mean, we, we sell bags left and right. People sell cards, trading cards, baseball, whatever. $600, you'd be submitting shit to the government, to the IRS daily with $600. I mean, it's really a joke, but let's not get into that. Let's just say that um, I want to be organized and know everything, all my transactions and everything. And I also want to know what I have. So this is my receipt. And I bought this from Autumn's site, autumnbeckman.com. Very nicely packed. I bought the set that has everything. It's kind of like a starter set. It was $50 plus um, shipping, I think, or tax. I don't remember exactly, but you just go on there and you'll see the price. Oh, wow, how pretty. She sent the thank you card. It's wrapped in plastic, which is very good because we know things in boxes can get wet if they sit outside on your stoop. So this, the one I chose, if I can get it open, was the um, six ring for the binder. I can't get this open. I have to use my little, my little thing. I'm glad I have it here with me. By the way, I just filmed my unboxing for Secret Santa, which will be going up next Saturday, the 23rd, with all my YouTube friends, those that participated in Secret Santa. So definitely don't miss that. And I also have, I did a couple of things, you know, come the holidays, I, I, I go a little bit crazy, I really do. So I do have some, some bags coming in. So hopefully you'll come back for those. Oh, how cute. I'm not sure what this is. What is this? Everything though is so well packed. Thank you, Autumn. Very well packed. This is, oh, just a blank card that you can use, a Christmas card. How cute. I see dogs. I see dogs. I don't see much without my glasses, so forgive me. But she sent a, a blank Christmas card, so you could use that or keep it or whatever it is you'd like to do. And this is what the very big front looks like. I'm not going to go through each page because that would be crazy. Um, but it says my handbag collection. And there are pages that, you know what, I need to put my glasses on. Sorry. I'm just going to show you the first, just the first page like this right here. And it says my handbag collection item tracker, brand, style, name, size, color, uh, description, the year, um, the collection name, there's a, a place to put a uh, serial code, the material, the make, exterior material, interior material, hardware, um, with height and depth of the bag. All of these things are fantastic, especially if you're selling bags, because you put it all here, and then when you, if you show your bags, you don't have to stop taking out the tape measure and stuff. You have it here already. You just take out, look at the card and say, there it is. It's 10 by 12 by 3. And um, it's included with, it has a place to, to check off a box. If it has a box, a dust bag, strap, other, um, date acquired, um, where it was acquired from, the retail price, the purchase price. Uh, you could, you know, why I chose this piece. How is it working out? It's great if you have a YouTube channel and you and you do that was pretty much what I wanted it for also because 
how is it working out? I could jot down the things that I don't like about the bag. So when I film, I don't get tongue tied and sit there like, oh, what am I tell? Oh, I totally forgot my train of thought. You could put down, um, I don't like the fact that it doesn't hold my phone. Um, I don't like the fact that the magnet doesn't stay closed very well. Things like that. Um, and then, you know, there's a bottom for notes. So again, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing because it would be way too much. You could see it on her site, autumnbeckman.com. However, it didn't come with a binder. So instead of spending, I don't know, $900 on a Louis Vuitton binder journal cover, I went to Amazon and now I have to see if I could open this without wrecking it. Okay. So I went on Amazon and I wanted a good leather one. I didn't want like a plasticky, I wanted, you know, a good leather one. So, and I will link this item down below if I could find it, <laughs> if I could find it. Um, so I wanted something that was leather and I wanted, um, now this came with, I couldn't find empty ones. So the one I got came with, this is nice. It feels nice. Oh, it does come with a pen and a pen holder, which just fell out. It smells like real leather. so <laughs> That's good. It's supposed to be genuine leather. It's a, it's a gray. They had a couple of different colors. And I like the fact that it had a snap. And this um, came with, this came with a book, um, a binder inserts inside really nice this I, it's real real leather this feels so nice it's the um underneath you could put an ID here I liked it because there's a place for cards not that I'm gonna carry cards but receipts receipts from bags maybe or um, essays cards will fit in there for sure uh, any kind of paperwork will go in here it's very cute look at this it came with um dividers came with a ruler it came with a pen, which fell out, but it has a pen holder, so that's that's good. It has um, a plastic holder in here, just for whatever, again, receipts or cards or whatever you want to put in there. The back has a pocket also. This is really nice. The back has a pocket here. This is a beautiful binder. It really is beautiful. And um, the pages are, oh, okay. The pages are blank, no lines, nothing, which is a little strange. Again, I wasn't looking for it to be anything, in, you know, in the book because I'm going to put Autumn's inserts in there. But this is what the pages look like. They're just, they're just, they're just dotted. I, I don't know. Strange. I'm surprised they're not lined. It's a lot of paper, but they're not lined. So I'm not sure, you know, I guess it could be a doodle book whatever um but it wasn't um expensive at all i believe it was i had a credit towards amazon for like ten dollars and i think this was 17. i looked at a few so if i'm not exactly correct i'll put the correct price down below and again i'm gonna try to share it from amazon and put that down below um it's very soft very nice this is the the I don't know how well it's going to hold up, I think, for $17 and real leather, but it's really very nice. And again, I just bought it because I'm going to empty it and I'm going to put Autumn's um, inserts in here. And I was concerned that I thought that it wasn't going to fit correctly, but obviously it will. So um, I'm really excited. I'm not going to do that now because it'll take too long to get each page in i don't know if the whole thing is going to fit at the same time in this bind in, <clears throat> excuse me in this binder but i'm going to try but anyway so i wanted to show you that because it's good to be organized right so what else did i want to show you What's, oh very important i am selling this i love it i've used it so I'm not going to say it's in pristine condition, but it's in excellent used condition. I'm selling my YSL camera lube bag. Um, 
I've shown this bag before. One second, let me get this crap out of the way. I've shown this bag before. I use it, it was really my go-to bag. I was probably using this bag more than any other bag for the last like two years. Um, I showed that the structure here has nothing to do with wear and tear. It, it seems to like, it, it happened on my Gucci Soho camera bag also. And let me know guys in the comment section, if you have a camera bag of any, of any kind, has this happened? I feel I think it's from grabbing it like this so I stuffed it and I keep it upside down to to get the shape back but it's it's not working perfectly I have um, the tassel that comes with it very very few if any scuffs on this the hardware is in perfect condition um, it's in a it's not a detachable strap but it is adjustable it's a beautiful bag this is the bottom the side the back the other side the front up close and again i don't there might be a scuff here and there i don't i don't see them with my eyes, even with my glasses, the only issue, and I'm disclosing, is that the structure on top. And, you know, and I, I didn't have another bag sitting on top of it. Um, but, you know, if, it's next, if, if it was next to other bags, it might have been pushed together like this. So, you know, I'm just letting you know that I have an insert in it. I sometimes use the insert, sometimes I don't. It has a slip pocket. It's hard to tell because it's black. It's a very generous bag. It holds, it holds a lot. Um, let me get this out. I took the tassel off because it was getting in my way, but the tassel is in perfect condition. Perfect condition. I'm going to actually put it back in the bag with the insert. I don't think I'm including the insert because I have other small bags that could use inserts. So, um, but that, you know, this insert I took, I think, out of another insert. <laughs> um, so anyway, so the hardware is beautiful. It's like a silver gray, like a pewter. And like I said, it's in almost perfect condition, almost other than this top structure. So if that doesn't bother you, which I don't know, some people it would, but if you really, really love this bag, they're 1690, I think now, close to 1700. Um, they're still all available in all different colors and, and whatnot. Um, if you absolutely love it and you don't want to pay the 1700, I'm doing it for way, 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 way less. We'll talk about price. I'll put my email down below. If you're interested, please email me. I'm going to show you what it comes with. I bought this in. I bought it in Nordstrom. Covering my address. It's called the, it, um, the Quilted Lou Crossbody in Asphalt. That was the color that Nordstrom has it as. I don't know if that's the color, you know, YSL has it in asphalt. And I did not, I, I don't know when the prices went up and I know I didn't, I definitely didn't pay $1,700. Um, I looked on Nordstrom at my past history, so I know what I paid for it, but I'm, I'm still gonna go less than what I paid um, only because of this, you know, the way this is right here, the structure. Um, probably if it sat long enough without having anything else on either side, it'll go back into shape. But I'm not 100% sure, I can't guarantee that. Um, there are no returns, there are no refunds, I'm not a store. Um, you have to know that that's, that's, what happened, that's what happened to the bag and probably most camera bags like I said, my Gucci, not as much, but it also has a little bit of, of that thing there. But other than that, the bag is, is 
I'm not going to say the word pristine. It's in amazing condition. If you know me, you know I keep my bags in amazing condition. So it has the cards and everything in it. I never even took it out of the plastic. And, and the Nordstrom receipt. And it comes with a dust bag. So um, we'll talk price if you're interested. Email me down below if you're interested. I need to get rid of it. I have the Balenciaga in gray that I have for sale, and I'm gonna link um, that vlog sale down below, but I don't really wanna sell that Balenciaga, and I don't need to have two gray small crossbodies. It's just too much. It's overwhelming. I have no room. It's getting out of hand, and this video is going on too long, so I'm gonna say goodbye, and I will see you guys soon. Have a great day.